All right, now let's create this widget, the build control overlay, so that we can quickly finish the UI for the create prof create wallpaper screen. Okay, so this one also let's create the widget, the its own widget. Okay, so first let's come in the widgets, right click, new file, controls, overlay, dot dot. Okay. This, uh, I think, let's create uh, just a stateful widget, okay? Yeah, a stateful widget like that. And then, you're just going to name it controls overlay, okay? So, the reason why I'm creating this a stateful widget, you're going to know later on because we want to be editing something here, okay? So, this one, the first thing we're going to pass is just is AI mode, okay? So, I required... This dot is a I mode, which is a boolean. Okay, let's initialize that. Final boo is the I mode. Now we want to position these overlays at the bottom once we have an image. Okay, so here we need to return a positioned widget. Okay. Uh, positioned widget okay now here what we have is a bottom is supposed to be let's say 16 left 0 right 0 and then the child let's just return a padding then for the padding we want to say let's have the symmetric padding okay constant of edge insets dot symmetric and then let's say horizontal to uh you can just say 16 it's it's fine okay right after this padding what we want to do here put a comma so inside this padding not right after it uh we want to have a child of a, a raw widget okay because we want to have two buttons here okay so this row first let's have a main axis alignment uh, main axis alignment dot space uh, between okay because we want to have a button here and a button here okay now after this what we want to do is to have children okay so this is going to be a floating action button okay so on pressed we're gonna do the on pressed so the first one is going to be for the cancel okay so this one is simply just going to be a context dot uh, read wallpaper provider dot uh, clear. Okay, let's import this dot clear state. Okay, that's all we're gonna put here. And then right after this, you need to have a child, okay? A child. This child is going to be <clears throat> an icon, okay? Icon, let's say icons dot close, okay? You can put the constant keyword. And then maybe let's also give it some background, okay? background color with let's say colors dot white because we want this to be also visible white dot with opacity now let's say 0 0.3 yeah yeah something like this and then all we have to do is just copy this one more time we we'll copy it and then paste it here okay so for the next one, uh, let's see the icon. Let's just change the icon to share. Share. Okay. And then in the on pressed, this one we need to have a check. Okay. Because if it's a, I mean, AI generated, we, when, once we share, we just want to share and then we will create that wallpaper and save it to the database. Because from the wallpaper, we are going to create a name of that wallpaper and then we are also going to create the 
everything that we need to create maybe even a description okay we are going to use ai to do that or we can just create code for that but if it's a wallpaper that is picked from the gallery once someone click share we want to ask them to put the name of that wallpaper and also uh, just anything that we can ask him to put even maybe the category and all that stuff okay so here that's why if we click here on this one we need to check okay so if uh, let's say if is not ai generated is if uh, let's say widget dot if it is not ai generated what we're gonna do here is uh, uh, let's say show dialog for user inputs okay else we're just gonna share the wallpaper okay share the wallpaper share the wallpaper okay so i think that's it this is just gonna be a small code here so we can remove the unused import over here now we just simply need to come back here and then here let's see let's put comments here instead of that this is going to be the bottom bottom ui and then also now let's create the build uh, control overlays okay now we just need to retain that widget okay let's first close that and then remove everything inside here we just need to call our control overlay here okay here we simply just need to pass uh, uh, is AI mode okay that one and then we can close that for now okay so okay yeah I think that's it now let's run the application let's just wait for it to run all right the application is running we can close that then if we click here we're still back here if we come here let's try to select an image okay so now okay we don't have uh, yeah we have to toggle here and then we can see the share and the cancel okay so great now you can see our ui is done now you can close this and then yeah so i think our ui is done we have uh, this page where we create wallpapers then we have where we view wallpapers and then we have uh, the profile screen okay so let's go back in the profile screen i think i'm gonna change this animation to 800 okay i want it to animate a, a bit slower okay let's hot reload we come here yeah i want it to come like that okay yeah so i think I think so far our UI is done. You can see everything is responding here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are okay here. So let's go back. Oh, once we select here, yeah, it has to be like this. Okay. So yeah, I think we are done here the next thing is now to start adding the functionality so we need to first connect our application to firestore then right after connecting the application to firestore we need to add the rest of the function so that now we can start fetching the real data we can start showing the functionalities we add the like function and then the comment function so that now this application is fully function so yeah what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to save this uh just at the current state of the application i'm just gonna call this a uh, ui part so i'm going to save this to my github account so that you guys can have the source code for only the ui for now okay and then in the next one now we're going to create another branch where we're going to add the functions okay so so the ui part is done guys and uh, i thank you so much i thank you guys and i uh, see you in the next video